Hi YouTube, today we're learning to write a persuasive letter. That's our task. Our learning intention. We are learning to plan the writing of a persuasive letter. And the idea is the planning. Our success criteria. I can write a plan for a persuasive text that includes three good reasons. I can use that plan to write a persuasive letter that has a simple and compound sentence, interesting language and paragraphs for each idea. This is the sheet that you have been given in your writing book in your booklet from home. This is our writing page. I'm going to break this down for us even more. We are learning to use a variety of sentences to engage the reader. And as you can see, I can use simple and compound sentences in my writing. I can use interesting and technical words. I can use paragraphs to start a new idea. And of course, if you're writing this by hand, you can write neatly. You can, of course, type this. So, our task is to write a persuasive letter to your parents, asking them for a new pet and giving reasons why you should have one. I want a... Mm, in this box, I'm thinking of a pet that I'd really like. I think it would be a puppy. Hmm, what breed would I like? I'd like a Kelpie, just like in the story, and just like my son has. So here are my reasons. Now, I have to think of at least three reasons why I should have a puppy. Just because I want one isn't a good reason. No one is going to listen to me if if I just say that. Reason one. I would like a Kelpie because having a pet teaches me about responsibility. Now, I have to give a few examples. Here's one. Dogs need to be looked after, and if I had a dog, I would learn to look after and care for it, even when I'm tired or want to do something else, or I didn't even feel like it. Reason two. Having a dog would make me more active. Now I have to explain that idea. If I had a dog, I would need to play with it, take it for walks, and so I'd be more active too. Reason three. Having a dog would teach me to care for something other than myself. Now I've got to explain that idea. If I had a dog, I would learn to put what it wants ahead of what I want. So, now I have my three ideas in my plan. I can now go ahead and write my persuasive text. What do you do now? In your booklet, you have a writing page that we saw earlier. You need to use that writing page to plan your persuasive text, and then you need to write yours. So, keep watching to have a read of mine. Remember to use simple and compound sentences, great vocab, and interesting words. So here's my text, Mr. Fasson's persuasive text. I'm pretending that I'm writing to my mum and dad. Dear mum and dad, I have been giving this a great deal of thought. I would really like to have a puppy for my birthday this year. So I'm writing to explain why I should have a Kelpie for my birthday. Here's my first paragraph. Firstly, having a dog would teach me about being responsible. A puppy requires a great deal of care. It needs to be fed every day, given clean water to drink. It needs to be groomed and cared for, and it needs to be played with. If I had a puppy, I would do those things every day, even when I'm extremely tired and would rather be inside doing other things. So you can see that my first paragraph is my first reason. Here's my second paragraph. Secondly, if I had a Kelpie, I would be more active and wouldn't be watching TV and playing computer games as much. A Kelpie needs lots of exercise, play and movement, so I would walk it every day before I went to school and in the afternoons when I get home from school. That way it would stay fit and so would I. Here's my text continued. I've run out of page on the first one. Lastly, I usually think of only myself and what I want. If I had a dog, 
I would learn that it can't get anything for itself. I would have to put the needs of the puppy before my own needs, and I would learn to be more caring. This would be good for me as I grow up. Thank you for reading my letter. I hope that you will consider a puppy for my birthday. Your loving son.